Welcome back to the channel everyone. We are out in the little greenhouse and I was taking some cuttings for ourselves and for our market and kind of propagating some things up today. And I wanted to talk about how vital this aloe vera is to our propagation and our success rate. I'm always saying that outdoors we get about a 50 to 60% success rate with our cuttings and in here in our little greenhouse with all our shade, cool water, and the right protection for your plants when you're taking the cuttings and propagating them out. We've had ourselves 80, 90% plus success rate on all of these plants. We are doing pretty well for ourselves in the sense that we're learning a lot about propagation and what it takes to really propagate out a whole nursery's worth of plants because that is the goal. The sun's finally peeking out of the clouds here. So I get a lot of questions on why we use aloe vera and what purpose it serves as a hormone. Now this aloe works so well for propagating because it has antibacterial and antifungal properties that allow your plant to be sealed and coated and not allow the dirty bacteria and some bad pathogens that can completely rot out your plant that feed on your rotting wood. Being able to deter all of those pathogens and bacteria and have a good start to your cutting is the number one step to getting these to be successful. As long as you've got everything else set up right, you've got a cool area with good airflow and a shade cloth to protect from the brutal sun, you should increase your success rate on all of your cuttings just by switching to using aloe vera. And this is one of the most natural ways. I see a lot of banana peels and willow water being used and that is super natural also, almost in the same way that this is. It's just a different type of compound people use to protect the roots or to promote the rooting hormone naturally in the plant. In using aloe vera for your cuttings, you're basically enabling your plant to successfully root itself and allow all those undifferentiated cells to divulge into roots. I got very sick of having a 50 to 60% success rate on all of my cuttings, so I really wanted to switch something up and use a supernatural method. Willow water works well and banana peel water also works. This aloe is also edible. It is good for you. It's got vitamins and minerals contained in it and it also promotes healing has anti-inflammatory properties for your burns and cuts let's talk about how we use this i have this little fig tree here i always use my figs because they're super easy propagators and allowing them to do their thing naturally without any inhibition by bacteria or protozoan or any pathogens so i will take this get it coated real well so we've got this coated we will take it stick it right down in one of these pots keep it in a nice shady area and i didn't damage this leaf i would like to damage all of the fully developed leaves because when you do it promotes root growth as opposed to continually growing this vegetation that was undamaged if you leave it that way so that was just a quick example of how we use it so we're basically just taking all of our cuttings in this greenhouse and sticking them in our aloe vera and using them to protect all of these cuttings and really increasing our success rate so let's come down here and take a look around the greenhouse i've got all these fall mums decent roots I haven't really checked on these much I just took them about a week and a half two weeks ago looks like they've all got roots coming off there and those were propagated all from the same plant over here got this main mum I've got a few others planted outside so I started using my aloe vera to propagate everything and I've found a higher success rate these have all been successful I think one of them may have died and I replaced it and the replacement took off so we are not in bad shape on those we'll propagate a few of those flats out and up pot them once all the roots are about developed as these here so we will have a good profit from all of these mums in the fall time so up on the tray we've got elderberries roses rosemary and toothache herbs all propagated with this same method just sticking it and plugging it into a little bit of aloe vera and aloe vera is very easy to propagate you can just pull off little babies from your aloe and basically stick them right in keep them in a shady damp location so don't forget to propagate your aloe to allow yourself to be able to use more and consume more in many more ways than just one so i want to run over here we've got all this stevia some fig trees we've got all these mulberries that are coming on and those were all propagated cold hardy kiwis we've got a bunch of mugwort in the back row lavender that was just overflow lavender from these trays just tons and tons of stuff 
all being propagated out using our water or using our aloe to promote the best situation for your roots to actually grow from a fresh cutting or a freshly pulled plant or split plant. I just want to thank everybody for watching these videos. Me and my little guy are hanging out with our baby chickens here. Like this video definitely subscribe to this channel and hit that like button it helps us out when sharing our content and if anybody had any questions on anything we covered in this little greenhouse today or anything about propagation definitely drop it in the comments below we love to hear everybody's feedback